Welcome to week 23 of Hot 5 and 5, where we cover the 5 biggest stories in the gaming industry of the week in 5 minutes or less. This is a weekly scripted news series hosted by myself, Charles ZRS, and BAK Bossman. Now, let's jump right into the news. A German gaming site is reporting a rumor that Bethesda will officially reveal Fallout 4 at the end of its E3 press conference next month. Citing a trusted but anonymous source, German site PC Games said that the company will show off a detailed, closed doors video of gameplay. The site reports that demo will be between 20 and 30 minutes in length. Back in February, Bethesda announced its first ever E3 conference, setting the internet ablaze with wild speculation over the conference's purpose. It looks like some copies of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt may have leaked prior to the game's official release date but you probably won't be seeing anyone playing them on Twitch. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is not allowed for broadcasting until May 19th, 2015. Twitch's verified support account said on Twitter, broadcasting before this date is subject to DMCA guidelines. The warning comes after a user on Twitcher 3 development CD Projekt Red's official forums posted pictures of the game already on store shelves in United Arab Emirates. On the forums as well, moderates asked that users do not post links to leaked footage from the game. The Witcher 3 unlocks for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC in the United States on the evening of May 18th. Apparently the last few months, popular MMORPG World of Warcraft declined in the amount of subscriptions it has by 3 million. Having 10 million subscribers at the end of 2014, publisher of the title Activision Blizzard included this information release in their latest earnings report last Wednesday. The publisher, however, explained that the reason for this decline is most likely the price of the game's subscription being raised in several select regions. Now, also while this is a huge decline in numbers, World of Warcraft still tops the charts as the number one subscription-based MMO worldwide. When Oculus VR announced this week that its Oculus Rift headset would launch in early 2016, the company didn't say what it would cost. That's still the case, but now Oculus VR Vice President Nate Mitchell has spoken out to describe Oculus Rift as high-end, noting that it will be priced in more than $200. Not only will the Oculus Rift headset be more expensive, but the total investment required will be on the high-end due to the technology requiring a capable PC gaming rig, Mitchell explained. Overall, Mitchell stressed that Oculus Rift needs to be affordable in the long run if it is ever to reach millions or even possibly billions of people. The new Assassin's Creed game set to be revealed next week is entitled Assassin's Creed Syndicate and stars an assassin named Jacob Fryer. Ubisoft announced on May 7th that it planned to unveil the newest Assassin's Creed on Tuesday, May 12th. This was presumed to be the Xbox One, PS4, and PC game leak last year under the title Assassin's Creed Victory, which was to be set in Victorian era London. Officially, Ubisoft has revealed next to nothing about the game, though it did provide the image on the screen right now. A teaser website provides some hints that track with a game set during the Industrial Revolution, but specific story details and even the title remain unofficial. Syndicate's official reveal is set to take place at 9am PST on May 12th. That's your Hot 5 and 5 for this week, May 3rd through May 9th. Thank you for watching and be sure to check back next week for a brand new Hot 5 and 5 episode. Improvements are always on our mind, so if you had anything that we should fix, add, change, or remove, then be sure to leave a comment below. Us here at Hot 5 and 5 would also like to wish everyone watching a happy Mother's Day. Now again, thank you for watching this Hot 5 and 5, we hope you enjoyed. This is Charles Zeres signing out, and happy gaming.